I tell the story that one Sunday afternoon, practice was over and guys were tired and, and someone said, you know, so there's a fair or something going on down the hill there. So we all said, let's walk down there and see. So we all walked down on uh, Soapbox Derby Hill and we walked across uh, Riverside and we walked to Riverside Park, Amusement Park. And down, um, you know, here again, we went to African Americans, we walk up to the gate and um, we were accepting to pay our mission and go in there at the Ferris wheel and the coaster. And they said, hey, no blacks can come in. They were saying there was only like one day a year that blacks were able to go into the Riverside Amusement Park. You know, and that kind of caught us off guard because I caught me off guard because I, I thought I left that in South Carolina. This team that was put together was, I would say, almost 80, 85, 90% African Americans. When we first got here, um, the only place we could really um, settle in that accepted us was Marion College. Johnny Walton was, was remarkable. I've never seen um, a quarterback at that, at that stage of the game had such a delivery on the ball. Um, Johnny never panicked. He, he was a very he was self-confident. Um, he was a quick learner because he came in like, you know, three, I think we already played four games. And um, about the fifth game, um, that's when um, Ken Carpenter interjected Johnny in, into, the, um, into the starting lineup. But that championship game, it was, I still got the little cup downstairs, but we never got our championship rings. We were proud. We were saying, hey, you know, pace is your time now. <laughs> you know, we were so proud. We were CFAR champs. We had an automatic bid into American Football League and couldn't find a place to play.